Hello everyone, welcome to Crack You video series. In this video, we are going to see how to make 30 days st study plan for TISNET. So let's begin. We have 30 days to prepare for TISNET. And this is not a big deal if we have a perfect learning strategy for 30 days. So let us see the detailed TISNET preparation plan. And let's make it possible to crack TISNET in 30 days. At the end of this video, you can get an idea of TISNET preparations in uh, sectional wise in 30 days. Before going to strategy of learning, let's have a quick view of uh, exam pattern of TISNET. As we all know, this is the exam pattern for TISNET. So for English proficiency, we have 30 questions with 30 marks. And for mathematics and logical reasoning, 30 questions and 30 marks. And lastly, the general awareness, which gives us 40 questions with 40 marks. This is the best section to make high score. So let's get into the strategy. So firstly, prioritize the sections. So mathematics and logical reasoning are the first priority. And next, uh, English proficiency and next, uh, general awareness. All these sections are important. Mainly the mathematics and the logical reasoning are somewhat tough comparing to the remaining sections. So that's why we are giving the first priority for mathematics and logical reasoning. So let's get into the strategy. So now let's begin our 30 day strategy by planning a week wise schedule. So we have 30 days. For these 30 days, we, we are going to split them into four weeks, uh, week one, week two, week three and week four. So first two weeks, we are spending our time for learning. And next two weeks, we are going to spend our time for mocks and revision. Let's see. Uh, for the first week, as I said, our first priority is to concentrate on mathematics and logical reasoning. So uh, these are the these are the main topics in uh, mathematics: uh, basic geometry, percentages, profit and loss, trigonometry. So in the basic geometry, we have to concentrate on all, all these uh, topics: uh, shapes triangles and quadrilaterals polygons and angles so make sure you are aware of uh, each and every formula in mathematics you have to spend minimum three hours on mathematics so next going to the english proficiency reading comprehensions are the best uh, source for scoring in quant so try to solve at least one rc in a day make sure that you are practicing whatever you have learned till now so now it is the second week in the last week uh, you almost covered the tough topics in mathematics and uh, logical reasoning uh, from this week you are going to focus on some moderate topics like uh, 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 ratio and proportions average basic algebra simultaneous equations number theory yeah these are the topics in mathematics and coming to the logical reasoning uh, venn diagram so number series logical logical connectivity puzzles these are some of the moderate topics you can cover them easily so try to solve at least two questions from each topic so let's get into the next one in english proficiency we have uh, four topics i mean I mean these are some of the moderate topics that can be covered easily so try to solve at least uh, five questions from each topics like uh, sentence corrections uh, spo uh, error spotting idioms uh, homophones and the next general awareness is the best source of high scoring if you are following daily current affairs through newspapers news channels and also social media manage your time to spare some time for exploring new things from current affairs, politics, sports, econ economics, etc. Now, this is the third week, which is very crucial. Uh, from now, you are going to spend mostly on revision rather than learning. Solve mocks on every section that covers each and every topic. So you can find the mocks on Crack You. The link is given in the description. These mocks can help you to recall whatever you have learned till now. Now you have entered the last week of our 30 day strategy. So collect all the previous TSNET question papers and solve them. Manage your time to solve the answers, whether you can solve the answers in time or not. If not, plan to manage the time for answering and also analyze your marks and mistakes in the previous question paper. And finally, you are in the last day. I mean the day before the exam. What you need to do is 
just relax and do what make you happy make yourself confident to attend your exam so guys this is the this is the 30 day strategy for preparing this net thank you guys and all the best for your exams